Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're filming this easy, festive, smoky eye, nude lip and strong highlight look. Perfect for Christmas and the party season. So to prep my skin, I've used the Airbrush Primer. This is gonna help to give me a flawless base and keep my foundation on for longer. And this, I've used the Skin Tints in 03 and 04. I've mixed them to create my shade. This will give me a very flawless, dewy finish. I'm then going to be using the new baking powder and I'm just going to apply this all under my eye in the areas that I want to highlight and make flawless. And I'm going to apply it using the new baking brush. So I've just tapped some into the lid and I'm just going to pack it on all under my eye. The baking powder just makes like the under eye seamless. It stops the foundation and concealer from creasing and it will give you that highlighted look as well. I'm just going to apply it between my brows and the centre of my forehead and around my mouth area. This baking powder is super fine so it's going to give you that flawless finish. So I'm just going to leave the powder on until I finish my eyes and then I'm going to dust the rest and excess off. So onto my eyes I'm going to be using the new smoky eye palette. So I'm going to create a very nice like smoky festive eye look and I'm going to be using darker shades. Just going to take an eye sculptor brush and apply number three which is this golden shimmery tone colour and I'm going to pop that all over my eyelid just with a tapping motion and as you can see it's very creamy and pigmented so you only need a small amount. And this bronzy metallic colour is perfect for Christmas. Then I'm going to be using shade 5, which is this deep mauvey brown purple shade. Again with the same brush, I'm going to apply it in the crease and in the outer corner just to add some depth and emphasis to my eye. And to really give me that smoky, festive look. So I always start on the outer corner as well. And I kind of do like small circular motions. I'm then going to add the number 5 shade to my bottom lashes to create more smoky effect. Then I'm going to be using this shade number 6 which is your like deep midnight colour and I'm just going to apply it in the outer corner and again I'm going to do that like very small circular motion and I'm going to take it maybe halfway in my crease. And then I'm going to take the shade number 5 and blend the edges of the midnight colour. I'm going to add the number 6 shade into the inner corner just a little bit. And again blend it into the crease. This is just going to give me that like more 3D rounded eye look. Then I'm going to use the same brush and take the same number 3 gold shade and just apply it into my inner corner. Now I'm going to use shade number 2, which is this orange tone, and I'm just going to blend the edges. I'm then going to use the black smoky eye pen, just on my waterline. And these are really creamy pencils very very pigmented so as you can see it's very black and they're also very easy to smudge which is perfect for creating a smoky eye. Then I'm going to use the liquid liner and this is what I'm going to be using to create like a perfect small wing. I'm going to use the tip of the pen as a guideline when creating my wing and I'm just going to follow my bottom waterline up. As you can see because of the fine tip it's very easy to create a wing. So if you're a beginner at eyeliner, this is perfect for you. Then I'm just going to join the end of the wing to the centre of my eye. Just straight across. Then I'm going to close my eye and carry the line on to my inner corner. I'm then going to finish off the eyes with skinny mascara. And I'm using the skinny just because I have very small lashes and it's going to really lift and curl and add volume. 
Just really wiggle the wand from the root to the tip. So now that the eyes are done, I'm just going to dust away the excess baking powder with the baking brush. And it also will take away any fallout from the eyeshadow. And as you can see, it gives you a flawless finish. I'm now moving on to bronzer and the powder brush. I'm going to apply the bronzer onto my cheekbones. This will add a subtle contour and warmth to the face. I'm just going to take it up and around the edges of my face. And down the sides of my nose to help give some definition. So now it's time to add a pop of colour to the cheeks. I'm using South Beach Blusher. Just with a powder brush again, I'm just going to tap it on the apples on my cheek up. My smile. Now I'm going to use a new highlighter shade in 02 and I'm actually going to be using the baking brush and I'm just going to tap this onto the tops of my cheekbones. And this is a really beautiful, like more intense kind of highlighter with an icy kind of finish. So I'm going to apply to the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and because I like the highlighted look I'm going to apply a little bit everywhere so the centre of my chin keep its bow above my brow and under my brow bone so moving on to the lips we're going to be lining the lips with pink espresso and these are really creamy pigmented lip pencils also with a plumping effect then going to be using nude lip suede and this is in the colour Melrose app which is a perfect nude colour and these again are very creamy but suede textured matte lip stick pencils and as you can see these glide on too very easily and although it's matte it's very hydrating as it's enriched with vitamin E so now that the look is finished, I'm going to finish off with the Dragon's Blood Tonic Spray, which is my holy grail. And I'm just going to spray the whole face to accentuate the highlight, take away the powdery look, and give a nice glow and hydration to my skin. Just spray it from afar. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked any of the products, the links will be in the description bar below. And comment if you have any questions. Like and subscribe for more videos.